Our second speaker is an official DJ with the Supreme Hustle and one half of Tiger Style DJs. She is also affiliated with Icarus Sound and the executive director of Afros in the City. Please welcome Kim Lee Starr. I don't know how I'm gonna follow that, but uh, I guess I gotta push the red button to go, so let's be wild. All right, healing through grief. My name is Kim Lee Starr. I am a DJ and I'm pretty wild, right? Yeah, okay, it's doing its thing, so I'm just gonna breathe. Ooh, I'm excited. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> just gonna wait for it. Okay, so people call me Kim Lee Starr. Who am I? I'm a woman, I'm a journalist, I'm a computer scientist. I am a radical truth teller. I am a nail esthetician. I am a boss ass bitch. I'm also a daughter. I am a Teve woman. My, my Teve name is Doshima. My Iberian name is Iberian. I'm a British-born African-Canadian. <laughs> Doshima is my Teve name, and it means good heart. Iberian means may God never take us where we cannot overcome our fears. Sit with that. No? Just, just process. Just process. Mm -hmm. It's heavy. It's fast. Life is so wild, guys. Um, yeah, I'm a boss ass bitch. It's really, really wild being a boss ass bitch. I'm a survivor. I also think the word bitch is babe in total control of herself. I've survived abuse, addiction, and love. <laughs> By 2036, the number of deaths in Canada is estimated to be 425,000 per year. What is grief? It's also known as bereavement, and it's the unfortunate experience of loss of life and of people that you care about or jobs that you love. Five years ago, I met this beautiful man, um, Stephen Douglas Howe, ladies and gentlemen. He was a third from Treaty 6, a third Irish, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And Last, in 2015, January 30th, he passed away from a fentanyl overdose. The stages of grief are wild. In the first year, I was in shock. In the second year, I was so angry, I couldn't speak. And in the third year, I sort of tried to pretend that he had gone to work and he would be back again in the next couple of days. Like, every month, that was like the narrative in my head. Uh, Third year, I um, literally thought about killing myself every day. I did. It was complicated. I tried to in, on my birthday. And then I had a date for the end of the year at 2019. Then I got to acceptance. Um, people were like, join Tinder, blah, 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 blah. There's plenty of other fish in the sea. Blah, 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 blah. This is the love of my life. What are you talking about? No. There is no other Steve. You just have to deal with it, okay? Then I decided that uh, I would spend year five doing things that I'd never done before. I'm gonna be resilient. I decided I was gonna live. Steve used to wake up really happy, and it used to piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we used to have fights about it. He'd be like, what the f is your problem? I woke up, I'm happy. So then I was like, okay, like I, I guess I messed that up, right? Like I didn't really realize what he was doing when he would wake up and be so happy. And uh, I had to decide what to do, so I stopped trying to forget that Steve was real. And I tried to make new friends, and I grew my community, and I decided to say yes to everything that came to me. What happened? I got a job at the Rosé Foundation. I got fired from a job for the first time in my whole entire life. And all of a sudden, this group of people showed up in my inbox and they hired me. And it was the best thing that ever happened to me in the last five years. Put me into the arts, which is what I've always been. And then I joined the Hot Young Widow Club because I would wake up and have these really wild thoughts. And I was like, I don't know how to say this in public to people because I don't know how to say, like, I hate everybody. <laughs> and I just don't think your vacation photos with your partner are cool. <laughs> Sorry. So then, uh, dating. 
okay, Tinder. I joined Tinder, and for some reason, guys like to send me pictures of their dicks. <laughs> I don't know why. I have like 156 in them. <laughs> and so I thought I'm not gonna do it, so I'm just gonna live the love, I'm gonna live the peace, and I'm gonna honor my spirit. What do I need to do to live? I need to listen to music. Steve and I communicated with music. When things were really hard for us, we communicated in song. And so I decided that uh, the only way that I can stay alive is by listening to music and by playing music. Also teaching. Um, in one year, I decided that I was gonna become a DJ and I accomplished 10 years of what a normal DJ would accomplish. Okay, I did 50 events, I sat on four panels, I joined four crews, I got a residency, I taught others. We developed some groups, we, it's just been big, it's been big. Wild highlights. Uh, I modeled for a Pulitzer winning drama called Disgrace. Uh, it was about an uh, interracial couple, it was amazing, they had drama on the dance floor and the dinner thing and it was just like my life. Uh, I did a series of mixtapes that charted and uh, I curated post up with DJ Chippy Nonstop, who is like the best DJ in Canada. The wildest of them all, I am an as seen in Vogue model. Why is this wild? This is wild because 10 years ago, I had a fashion company, a media fashion company, and I had to sit in meetings with directors who did not want black people in fashion magazines, okay? I would sit there. So anyways, what am I gonna do? I gotta do some radical shit. You gotta be wild to fucking survive shit. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna do random acts of kindness. So what did I do? For some reason, somehow, I managed to give 10K of my personal check from my job to my community, okay? I did all that stuff, you saw it, right? <laughs> anyways, we developed a program. It's called Chi DJs YYC, and this year we are launching two more DJs into the society, and Last year, the program just did its thing, and um, we made $30,000. Thank you so much. It's been wild.